What's going on Disney fans and welcome back to a classic movie review that I have personally been looking forward to. With the release of The Lion King 2019, the live action Disney remake, it is the perfect time, and of course I had to do this, is review my favorite Disney film of all time, The Lion King. This movie is so huge that I don't even need to explain who's in the movie. You know James Earl Jones is in it. You know Jeremy Irons is in it. You know Matthew Broderick voices Simba, Nathan Lane as Timon. Like this movie so classic that you don't need to hear it from me. And I'm just looking forward to diving into my favorite Disney film of all time. You all know what the plot to The Lion King is, but for those who may not know what The Lion King is all about, The Lion King tells the story of a young lion cub named Simba, and his father Mufasa is the king of Pride Rock. As you can tell from the opening scene of The Circle of Life, Mufasa is the king of Pride Rock. And basically that Simba is the next in line to become king of Pride Rock when Mufasa has passed on his life, which we do see. And we also find out that Mufasa's brother Scar, voiced by Jeremy Irons, wants the throne for himself as well. And that's why he's incredibly jealous of his brother and his nephew Simba. The Lion King is such a staple in my childhood. It was the very first film that my parents introduced me to when I was a young kid. Watching the VHS tape for The Lion King was such a great experience to watch because when I first watched this movie, I completely fell in love with it. I fell in love with the storytelling, the characters, the songs, everything about it. I've seen this movie at least once a month when I was a kid. Like, I've seen this movie almost a million times. Like, I know all the dialogue, I know all the songs, I know everything about the lore of The Lion King. Like, this movie is so obsessive, I'm so obsessed with it whenever somebody talks about The Lion King. And that's what this movie has done with so many film fans out there. There is not one film fan that I know of that hasn't seen The Lion King. Like, this is a movie that if, if you haven't seen, then you can't call yourself a film fan. Because this movie has everything that it is for a film fan to love. It's got an amazing story, it's got an amazing soundtrack involved, and the messages in this film can really inspire you as a kid to do something great. And it's not just the songs, it's not just the story, but the messages of The Lion King in it that if someone has passed on, you're the next in line, and you're gonna take that thing and you're gonna make it your own. Simba as a young boy goes through so much with the death of his father of course but the relationship that Simba and Mufasa have I never got that when I was a kid and that's why this movie means so much to me. Just see that relationship they have. How great of a father Mufasa is. Just all the lessons he teaches Simba. The scenes about Pride Rock Everything the light touches is our kingdom. And just explains everything about Pride Rocks. You can't go to the Elephant Graveyard because that's where the hyenas are. James Earl Jones is pitch perfect casting for Mufasa. I'm so happy they brought him back for the live action remake. Matthew Broderick, fantastic as adult Simba and young Simba is really great as well. And just to see the different personalities of young Simba. He really wants to be king so bad. He wants to just be like his father. And so... He goes to talk with Scar, and he just wants to be like him, so he goes to the Elephant Graveyard, tries to be brave, but that's not what being brave is all about. Nala's a great character as well, and I'm interested to see how Beyonce does in the remake, but Simba and Nala, they have such a great friendship as kids, just to see them play fighting each other, and Nala's like, Pinja again. And Zazu, Zazu's just... Such a funny character all around. Timon and Pumbaa, once they come on screen, they become great as well. But Scar is what I love the most about The Lion King. I love villains, and Scar is seriously one of my favorite villains of all time. Jeremy Irons as Scar is one of the best castings of all time. Scar is such a great villain because he's that brother who's jealous of Mufasa. And Scar just completely takes over Pride Rock and he almost destroys Pride Rock. And he's the only Disney villain to actually kill off a main character. That is true. Look that up. Because Scar has a plan. He's going to overthrow 
Mufasa and Simba. He kills Mufasa in darkness. Like, this is, was a dark moment for Disney. I love every single song in The Lion King. The circle of life is what this film opens up with. It's the most grandest epic opening to a movie of all time. The Circle Life is so good. I just can't wait to be king. I love that song. It's super catchy. Be prepared. Such a great villain song. Can You Feel the Love Tonight was the song that won the Oscar. I would have liked the Circle of Life to win, but still, Can You Feel the Love Tonight is such a really good song all around. I love just the sweet and somberness of it. To see Simba and Nala falling in love with each other and just the cinematography, the animation all around. And of course, we can't forget about Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata, like if you say a Disney song, Hakuna Matata, everybody says is the first song they remember from The Lion King. And for me as well, Hakuna Matata just teaches you so much. Like, it means no worries for the rest of your days. Like all the lyrics to that are so catchy and relatable. And it relates to Timon's personality and Puma as well. Just to see Simba transition into an adult, that whole shot with them on the log walking across the moon is so iconic. And I just love the hidden messages in all of these songs. They all have a meaning and a message involved in it. The big message of The Lion King is remember who you are. The line that Mufasa says when the big cloud sky scene with Mufasa talking to Simba, motivating him to say, Simba, you are much better than what you have become. You must take your place in the circle of life. Oh my God, that scene is so amazing. And that's what the message is all around. You are much better of a person than you think you are. Don't be down on yourself. Somebody is always there watching over you and to guide you. I have no negatives with this movie at all. This is one of my top three favorite films of all time. The messages, the heartbreak of Mufasa's death, the sadness, the epicness, the funny moments of The Lion King are pitch perfect. And this seriously is the pitch perfect film that the remake is not even going to top at all. And it still has stood the test of time 25 years later. Happy 25th anniversary, Lion King. And this movie absolutely does get the biggest 5 out of 5 stars possible. I could give this a 6 out of 5 if I wanted to, but I don't do that. 5 out of 5 all day, baby. Alright guys, that was my review for The Lion King. And if you guys seen The Lion King, if you haven't... Really? But I'm just kidding. Uh, let, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on The Lion King, guys. And let's have a great discussion. Are you excited for the remake this weekend or are you not? Let's talk about all of that down below in the comments. Stay tuned to my review for the remake of The Lion King. I'm going to go see it Thursday night. And to celebrate the release of that, I'm going to be ranking all the live action Disney remakes that have come out so far. I'm counting 14, 13. I'm not sure yet what number I'll put in there. But look forward to all those videos coming out. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys are new here, feel free to click that subscribe button and that bell notification icon for more reviews, reactions, rankings, and more movie content. All my social media links are in the description below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!